Hey everybody, it's Red Kiwi here. Sorry for the delay on getting the next video out, but I have been working on something that I wanted to prepare before I did the video. So the premise of this video is how to build an IT roadmap. And what I've been working on some customers with is they've been asking me, help us figure out what our roadmap should be. Where are we today? And this is where we wanna go with regards to modernizing our workplace, help us understand how we can get there. So we actually released a tool uh, that you can get access to yourself. If you go to transform.microsoft.com, there is a tool down here called the IT Roadmap Lite. Okay, so if you want to do it yourself, you can go to transform.microsoft.com, go to IT Roadmap Lite and click on Try It Now, which will take you to this website here so you can say start assessment so then you'll be presented with a set of areas that you want to focus on so let's select identity pc deployment communications meetings uh, etc so you can click on the different areas and then you say get started okay so this is how it works so at the top you've got the surface level so these are the the blue boxes that you just clicked on so if you click that drop down these are all the areas that you're going to be assessing yourself then within each service level there are these tabs so in terms of identity there's access management there's identity there's governance and compliance so what you do is you go through these questions here let's look at level two uh, do you have multi-factor authentication required for all admin accounts? So if it's red, that means no, we don't have it and we need it. Yes, we have it. No, we don't have it, but it's not a priority. We don't need it. So what you do is you answer all of these questions for each of these tabs. And... We can say, no, we don't have that. No, we don't have that, etc. And then what you can do is you can drag this future level out to where you want to be. So let's say that we do want to be level four. So it'll automatically select those as red. Uh, then you will go through each of these tabs, answering the questions. And then you go through each of these service areas. One thing to highlight is that this current level is based at the service level. So for example, if that was to go to, if for you to get that to level two, you would need to satisfy level two requirements across all of these tabs. So for example, if we select that, 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 and that we now move to level two in shared services, identity, security, and compliance. And then when you go to the assessment summary, you'll see that that is now level two. So you can use this as a living document to represent the maturity of your modern workplace experience. As you're selecting, I don't have it, but I need it. Uh, you'll actually notice down the bottom here that it's actually creating an action list. Uh, the nice thing I like about this tool is that these questions up here are quite technology provider agnostic. So they don't have to be Microsoft tools that are providing the solutions for that area. Uh, these down here are recommendations on how you can use Microsoft 365 to address the areas that you want to achieve. It has, is you know, what's the user impact? what's the amount of implementation effort, and can fast track assist you in deploying this particular item. So once you've finished going through each one of these and each one of these tabs, you can click an assessment summary. And what this will do is it'll give you a rank out of four overall, and then also for each of the particular areas that you answered. The blue or the dark bar is the level that you are at, and then the dotted blue line is where you want to be. 
and then down here are all of the action items of what you can what you can do or what you need to be able to do to achieve that and if you expand those the nice thing about these is that so for one of them it said we want to be able to have multi-factor authentication for admins so what's really cool about this is that it tells you the impact but then there's all these links to the documentation on actually how to do that and you can uh, try it you can do it yourself or you can get a microsoft partner or microsoft consulting services to sort of help you do that if you need it uh, but it is a really great tool of assessing where you're at and where you're going to go to and then you can click on view your it roadmap and then what this will do is it will create a word document so here's the the roadmap tool as you can see you've got the the graphics of where you are and where you are at where you are and where you want to be and the definition descriptions of all the different levels that we went through and then as you scroll down you'll actually get to see the selections that you made as you can see here the selections that you made and the recommendations are further down in the document now there is a more advanced edition of the tool that your microsoft representative or your microsoft partner that you're working with has access to that has different audience views that they can work with you on um, but this is a really good start it's a free tool that you can use to sort of get an understanding of where you're at where you want to be and how you can get there